Hey guys, so Apple is back to releasing new betas. iOS 17.1 Developer Beta 1 has just been released today by Apple to registered developers. Now, if you're in the public beta testing program, you'll most likely see this populate for you within the next 24 to 48 hours or so. Now, this download is actually six and a half gigabytes of a download. And now, as I usually say, guys, this is not going to be removing five or six gigs from your iPhone. This is simply overriding the entire operating system. And if we take a look here under settings if we go under general and then go into the about section here you can see the latest build number right there it is ios 17.1 beta 1 the build number is 21b 5045h now this means of course that we still have plenty of betas to go this software will most likely not be available to the general public within the next two months or so so we got plenty to talk about there's actually quite a bit of changes so let's just go ahead and dive right into this video now of course as per usual apple has also updated the ipads with ipad os 17.1 beta 1 is now available for the ipad mac os 14.1 beta 1 is available for the mac watch os 10.1 beta 1 is is available for the Apple Watch. Now, there's some interesting updates and changes within watchOS. We'll talk about that here in just a few seconds. And of course, tvOS 17.1 Beta 1 is available for the Apple TV. Now, if you do have HomePod, which is running any betas, you can also get HomePod OS 17.1 Beta 1 under the software updates in the home application for your HomePods as well. So you can go to home settings here. You want to head on over into software updates and take a look under betas. And if you have a HomePod with betas, you'll get 17.1 Beta 1 for the HomePod as well. Now, it could take some time to populate the beta software for the HomePods, but it is also available. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is watchOS 10.1 Beta 1 because there's two things happening here. Number one, name drop is finally enabled on this beta. I couldn't get it to work properly before the video, so I'll continue testing and stay tuned for my follow-up video so name drop could finally be enabled here for sure with iOS 17.1 and watchOS 10.1 Beta 1 here. And the double tap with the finger gesture is now enabled for Series 9 and Apple Watch Ultra 2nd generation as well again i couldn't get that to work properly maybe i just don't understand the feature properly just yet so i'm going to try it out and then give you guys a follow-up video so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that now when it comes to ios 17.1 beta 1 there's a few things i want to talk about here now this iphone is running ios 17.2 which is of course and not a beta and i wanted to do that just for comparison here let's go into the action button menu here so let's go into the action button there's one minor change happening here so there is the action button right there so when you go to program you can slide over just like so but take a look at the glyph for the voice memos option take a look at the voice memos option glyph you see that you see the difference right there so the one on the left is the beta the one on the right is of course the non-beta and you can see there the glyph has been changed slightly but just something that i wanted to note here for the iphone 15 pro and 15 pro max with the new action button so that minor change has happened there within the actual action button menu now inside of the apple music section so if we go into apple music here and you're listening to a song apple has added a new star right there it is the new star for favorites so now every time you favorite a song you see that really cool animation so click it just like so it adds it to your favorites playlist once you're listening to a song if you click the star you'll now be able to favorite songs and it'll automatically add it to your favorites list which is something really cool now a feature that i was really looking forward to is finally here and that feature is going to be under the airdrop right so we go into airdrop and now we have an option to use airdrop over the cell network which means now you can send the large files from an iphone to another iphone and you can leave airdrop range and you will continue sending these files over the internet, right? So you don't have to stand next to the other person to actually send the large files. So this has been enabled in iOS 17.1, developer beta one. I will continue to test that as well, of course. So stay tuned for my follow-up video. This is just a quick first look at iOS 17.1 and some of the latest new features and changes that I've come across so far after using the first beta. So of course, guys, as I mentioned, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for my follow-up video here in the next 24 to 48 hours. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.